Chapter 102 of The Holiest of All by Andrew Murray. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Christopher Smith. Chapter 102 Abraham, the Obedience of Faith. Hebrews chapter 11, verses 8 to 10. By faith, Abraham, when he was called, obeyed to go out unto a place which he was to receive for an inheritance, and he went out not knowing whither he went. By faith he became a sojourner in the land of promise, as in a land not his own, dwelling in tents with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked for the city which hath the foundations, whose builder and maker is God. There is no child of Adam who is held in honour by such a large portion of the human race as Abraham. Jews, Christians, Mohammedans look up to him as the father of the faithful, and God honours him as his friend. If any one, this hero of the obedience of faith, can tell us what the secret is of a life of faith. Our epistle has called us to be imitators of them who, through faith and long-suffering, inherit the promises, with special mention of Abraham as one who, having suffered long, obtained the promise, Chapter 6, verses 12 to 15. As Paul, too, Romans 4, verse 12, speaks of those who walk in the steps of that faith of our father Abraham, which he had. Let all who have with purpose of heart determined, like Abraham, to be strong in faith, giving glory to God, listen to the lesson of his life. God expects from us, we do indeed need, and there is within our reach the very same faith which he had. By faith Abraham, when he was called, obeyed to go out to a place which he was to receive for an inheritance, and he went out, not knowing whither he went. What was the object of God's thus dealing with Abraham, and what in real truth the worth and the blessing of his obedience? The call of God was no arbitrary one. As we see into its divine meaning, we shall understand what God asks of us and what our faith must lay hold of. Man stands between the visible and the invisible. His sin and fall consisted in his having turned from God to the world. His redemption from the power of sin could only be found in his giving up the world and setting his whole heart upon God. It was to train him to this, to teach him to find his life and his happiness in God himself, that the call came. Get thee out from thy country and from thy kindred unto the land that I will show thee. God wanted to have him alone with himself, separated from all he could cling to or trust in, that he might teach him to find his all in himself. And it was by faith, faith that not only saw the land and the promise connected with it afar off, but saw the living God near to fulfil the promise that Abraham obeyed. The call of God is ever accompanied by the promise. True faith in the promise is ever joined to obedience to the call. Obedience is of the very essence of faith. Faith is always the power by which a man gives himself up to an unseen object and receives it into his heart and being. It is in the very nature of things impossible to receive God without receiving his will. By faith Abraham obeyed. We have seen how it was by obedience, by the doing of God's will, the Son himself was perfected and perfected us, becoming the author of salvation to them that obey him. Let us learn that obedience is the very life of faith and the only way into the holiest. Let immediate, unreserved, joyful obedience be the one thing our heart is set upon. And let it specially manifest itself in this, one of the root principles of God's will, his call to come out and be separate and give ourselves to walk with him whithersoever he leads. He went out not knowing whither he went. Say not that you cannot understand what it is to come out and forsake all. You do not need to know. You need to know something else, that you have a God who is watching and guiding you and working out in you a character fit for heaven and eternity. The one great mark of that character, of likeness to the Son and fitness for heaven, is very absolute surrender to God, to let him be all. Of that surrender, deep humility that only wants to obey and to trust is the first essential. 
therefore say to god that at every cost and in any way you are ready to obey he will never disappoint the trust of a soul fully committed to him and his will by faith he became a sojourner in the land of promise he not only went out from haran but into canaan and not even this alone but he sojourned he abode he lived there he not only began well but in faith and long suffering he inherited the promise it is the great lesson of perseverance again every day over again it must just be obedience and faith until god has brought us into closer communion with himself and can speak to men of us or through us as those who are his tested and trusted friends men who live only to honour him for he looked for the city whose builder is god by faith he saw the unseen in hope he lived in the future he had his heart as little in canaan as in haran it was in heaven it was with god and we who have been called to enter into the true tabernacle which god hath pitched oh shall we not obey and go out even though it be not knowing whither we go let us separate ourselves entirely from the world and its spirit let us like the sun die to the creature that we may live to god a worldly spirit in the church or the christian is a deadly disease it makes the life of faith impossible let us count it our worst enemy and live as foreigners who seek the city which is to come let us hear the voice calling us out to himself to close fellowship to obedience as of the angels in heaven to be a testimony and a blessing for the world and let it be said of us too by faith he obeyed and he went out and he sojourned in the land of promise for he looked for a city see in abraham how the whole life of faith is supernatural his call the promise of a country of a son of a seed all is distinctly divine above all sense and reason it is only when the soul looks steadily at the really supernatural things god is to do for us and in us and through us that its faith will rest entirely on the power of god and obey at any cost god will hold as personal intercourse with thee as with abraham god will be all to thee as to him let thy life be supernatural perfect impotence under the operation of divine omnipotence god by his spirit working out in thee his own life be a sojourner in the land of promise in the life opened up to us by the promises of god the life in the holiest of all through the holy spirit live in the promises he went out not knowing whither he went christ is not only priest but prophet teacher and leader trust him to bring thee within the veil and to guide thee all through life in the new and living way it is a peace that passeth all understanding a love that passeth knowledge a power that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can think that marks the life of faith in the land of promise let us go out not knowing whither we go end of chapter 102